Do you have a favorite uh, kind of whimsical economic indicator like the Big Mac index for currencies? Oh. Well, the, the most whimsical indicator of all was introduced in the 1930s. It's skirt lengths. Do you know this one? <laughs> Tell me about that. Uh, it used to be women in the teens. Uh, this is the 20th century I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, wore floor-length skirts. And then in the roaring 20s, there were these f uh, flapper girls who started wearing shorter and shorter skirts. The skirt height apparently peaked around 1929 <laughs> and crashed in the 1930s. This inspired the theory that skirt length uh, predicts the stock market. Uh, maybe, it, yeah, it's something about when women are in a euphoric mood, <laughs> they feel like short skirts. And when they're depressed, uh, but I don't know that anyone's followed up on that. I had a student who uh, did a, a senior essay for me looking at um, the width of men's ties. Mm. Remember in the 1970s, there was this wide tie movement for men. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that was a booming stock market until 73. Mm. Uh, but I wouldn't put too much faith in any of these theories.